Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to do um, a video I haven't done in a while. Um, I'm going to read some of the comments and stuff that people have commented on some of my videos. And uh, uh, just to get the word out there for people. Um, I like doing that. I like to recognize some people when they're making comments and things of that nature. Um, I haven't done one in a little while. Uh, I wanted to try to do one at least once a month and go over some of the videos and some of the good comments and stuff. And we can go over some of the negative ones, but I really don't have that many since I'm such a small channel. But I am working on that and slowly growing and I will get there one of these days. It's not a race, it's a marathon. Remember that. So let's get going. So <clears throat> the first one I'm going to read off was on my video on uh, how to be ready for hurricane seasons, the tips and tricks. And Joe Joe he commented and he says, thanks for all the info. Last hurricane season, I was without electricity for a few days. The only thing that I had a hard time with was extreme heat here in Florida, which I can totally understand because I live here too. And keeping my phone charged. I invested in a few battery operated fans to help with that and I need a better charger. Last time I had to go driving around in my car to charge my phone. Well Jojo, I said one thing that I can basically I can relate to is you know with the the heat and the electricity and stuff you can get some really good um, battery powered um, fans that are that run on you know rechargeable batteries um, I would suggest in looking at getting yourself a battery bank with a solar charger with it um, something like a, a rock piles um, I have a, a 300 watt battery bank and I have the 100 watt solar panel that goes with it you plug it in put it out in the sun and it charges your phone in no time and you can charge quite a few things you could charge your fans um, just uh, just a little bit of advice on that one there, bud, uh, because I really, I can, I feel your pain. Um, we've been without uh, power and stuff and it's not fun. And that's uh, one reason why I got started doing this and really involved and then I really wanted to start sharing um, what I know and what I've learned. Uh, sometimes you learn the hard way, if you know what I mean. Um, the, on the Florida numbers on Charlie Victim 19, uh, there was a video that I put out. Um, yeah, he also commented on that one, and everyone has to wear the mask for it to work. Only half of wearing it, it it's not going to work. And he goes, I was amazed to see so many people wearing them today when I went out. Um, I think that you know they are starting to get better and better, and now that they're putting mandates and stuff in, I think you're going to see that, that that's going to go up even more because uh, people don't want to either get citations or or whatever they're going to do it's uh, e up to each city um, and county on what their plan of action is uh, the governor is useless and he's not putting anything in um, he's basically playing the trump card and um, doesn't want to get involved so we're let somebody else do something and if it doesn't work, um, he's not to blame. Uh, that's exactly how it is. Um, not taking sides, Republican, Democrat, anything else. I'm just telling you exactly how it is. Just read between the lines. Um, <clears throat> how to make a 70 year own 72 hour food bucket supply. Uh, I did that video quite a while ago. Uh, uh, John Shower, he, he wrote in and he was just like, loved it, great idea. I'm gonna, you know, start doing that one um, let's scroll down through here uh, another one on the Florida numbers on the Charlie Victor 19 uh, Daniel wrote in um, he lives in Vermont he says we are good shape up here in Vermont because we aren't walking around with our heads up our asses we don't listen to our lying SOB leader either people need to get over themselves and just wear a mask and that what it's what it really comes down to people is um, just wear a mask and, the, and you wash your hands and you know we can kind of uh, 
get around this a little bit. Um, Another one I put out there was uh, how to deal with the COVID-19, what has happened to us. Uh, Joel wrote in, he's a great video, thank you. John wrote in, you know, hope people are listening. Uh, the Big Kahuna wrote in, so true, if everybody just put on your mask, maybe we can get this thing under control. Uh, Mike Green, he agreed, yep, put on your mask, people. It's, it's, I'm not the only one saying this. I mean, other people out there, they're commenting. Um, it, we all know it's just a matter of just wearing the mask if you're going to go out to the grocery store any place like that just don't take the chance um <clears throat> another comment up here in new york this was from uh flash flunk and he said up here in new york we are carrying on just like it was february masks and gloves anytime we leave the house certainly not eating any food that wasn't prepared at our home you know that's probably um probably a good idea you know um a week ago, Frugal Frugal, they wrote in and they were just like, I would love someone sane to discuss this with. So far, I found no one even awake in my locale. Shake my head. Well, you know, I mean, people, you just have to, you know, kind of use a little bit of common sense when you're out there. You know, think of other people besides just yourself. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of other things going on. Um, let's scroll down through here. All right, then I had a video. I said it was on uh, what has been going on in a long few weeks. Um, Copperhead Creek, he wrote in, he says, in my area of Texas, the lines of the grocery stores are back on Saturday and Sundays. Um, Maggie G wrote in, glad you all are setting them up in a new place. This is when we moved and I was out of here for a few weeks. Um, Hurricane Irene, you know, why I do the videos I do and try to warn people. And now I lived through Hurricane Irene in Vermont and um, it wasn't fun. And that's one of the reasons why I do some of these videos that I do because I've been through uh, some really nasty stuff and you've been, uh, you know, basically cut off from the rest of the world all the bridges and stuff were gone you couldn't get out of our town you were stuck there they couldn't get they couldn't get supplies in and you couldn't get out now you could have hiked out uh, you probably could if you had a good four-wheel drive you might have been able to get out but with the rivers the way they were you're pretty much screwed you weren't going anywhere um real food channel wrote in and he says uh your videos are more learning thanks for sharing Let's prepare all the time. You know, uh, the art of RVing wrote in, saw you at Carl's off the grid. Preparations is the key to life. We have some videos, you know, that you may like. Uh, Joel wrote in, um, wow, that's just amazing. I don't think I'd want to go through that. You know, I mean, all this kind of stuff. If you've never been through a hurricane, you're new to a hurricane area or anything else, I would highly suggest that you watch my hurricane season 2020 uh, video series. It's full of a lot of great information and it keep you updated uh, as far as, you know, things you may need, things you weren't gonna wanna get, um, you know, all different types of things. There's a lot of videos in there. There's 20 some odd videos in that series. Uh, pick and choose whichever ones may pertain to you and might help you out in your situation if you do not know and never been through a hurricane. Um, one of the last things um, that I really want to just uh, push out there is, you know, being a prepper doesn't mean that you're a hoarder, okay? It also doesn't mean um, you want to get caught with your pants down. Most preppers... Um, they've even been doing it their whole lives. Their family's done it. Like with me, um, my grandparents, they were preppers. You could call them preppers. I mean, they put up everything from the garden. My grandfather had his own garden. He brought everything in and my grandma canned everything. The whole basement was full of, um, you name it, vegetables and sauces and everything else. It was like going to the grocery store only it's all homemade um my mom did that for quite a while uh, when i was growing up uh, we had a big garden and uh, she used to put up stuff for the winter potatoes and you name it 
you know, she made her own spaghetti sauce and the whole nine yards. So, you know, you just want to make sure um, it's more of a survival thing. You learn from, you know, unfortunately, your mistakes or other people's mistakes if you're smart enough to put two and two together. So, <clears throat> on that note, I just wanted to have a uh, read off some of the, um, the replies I've been getting on some of my videos and stuff. I like to do these once in a while. Um, I know I'm running into probably about 10 minutes on this video. Uh, but I like doing these. I like giving, you know, some people some recognition for writing in um, this way here. You know, hopefully everybody keeps commenting. That's the whole idea is the comments is what's important to grow our channel and to make people aware and to get a lot of different ideas out there on different subjects, on how you do things and everything else. The key really isn't me. The key is all of us. So on that note, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.